Hello, this is Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose. You've probably heard it before, and admittedly, you're probably feeling a little confused by the whole subject. Good fat, bad fat. Low fat, high fat. High cholesterol, low cholesterol. Where am I supposed to start? What should I eat? What shouldn't I eat? Well, we all know that the low fat, I'm going to call it myth, has been one of the most widely spread myths in the last 40 or 50 years in the history of humanity. And it's a myth. It is a myth. Literally, low fat is causing all sorts of problems. At the same time, it's important information. So how do we understand what is good fat, what is bad fat, what kind of fats we should consume, what kind of fats we shouldn't consume, and what are the consequences? Also, where do we get the good fats from and where are the bad fats so we can avoid them? So I'm going to give a short little explanation of this whole subject. It's a complex subject to a certain extent, and yet it's also in its essence fairly simple. Basically, you need to avoid the fats that damage your body and eat more of the fats that help to keep your body healthy. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions or actually state a couple of facts that kind of get you thinking there. The fact of the matter is most good fats, in fact all good fats, come from food. And all bad fats pretty much come from food too. So knowing what kind of foods to consume and what kind of foods to avoid is an essential portion of this equation. The body uses cholesterol. You've seen some of the previous daily doses on cholesterol and understand that most cholesterol comes from dietary fat. The body makes cholesterol. The liver actually uses those dietary fats to manufacture cholesterol. And you may think, well, you know, cholesterol's bad. Why would my body be making it? <laughs> well, you haven't been given the entire information here. Basically, your body, all of its cells, every single cell in the body has a cell membrane. It's kind of this protective field, if you like, like a force field that lives around every single cell and protects it from incoming invaders and also decides what comes in and what goes out. So it decides where to push out waste and what nutrients to let in. And on every single cell there are receptor sites that decide what comes in or that are particularly tuned to certain nutrients. Kind of like special doors, you know, that have a specific lock to them and the key is present in the nutrient. So that particular nutrient comes along, puts its key in the lock, and boom, the cell lets it in. Other things come along, and the cell says, uh-uh, I'm not letting you in because you're bad for me. Problem is that fats actually make up those cell membranes. Cholesterol makes up those cell membranes. So we use, or we need, good fats in order to make up those cell membranes. Specifically, the kind of fats that do the job best are omega-3s, okay? We know them as EPA or DHA. Uh, you've probably heard the term ALA, which is alpha-linolenic alpha or alpha-linoleic acid. Um, and that, the body, those come from vegetable sources such as chia seeds, um, avocados, walnuts, almonds, raw almonds, of course. Um, <clears throat> now, nuts have to be raw in order for them to be useful for your body because the fats, most of the good fats, get destroyed in the roasting process. So raw nuts and raw seeds, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds. Flax, incidentally, don't ever buy it ground because it goes rancid very quickly. Buy it fresh and whole and grind it yourself. Just use a coffee grinder. So, <coughs> excuse me, people often ask me, well, how do I get to the scoop of this? What you know, People tell me saturated fats are bad. Well, I've been telling people for years that saturated fats are good if they're the right kind of saturated fats. You have to make sure no fat is hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated. That's when saturated fats become very, very bad. So extra virgin coconut oil, uh, butter from raw milk, for example. Now again, you pasteurize, homogenize, you destroy the benefits of the fat in dairy products. So raw milk butter, raw milk, cheese made from raw milk, great. You start heating them, you're in trouble. Okay, basically it denatures the fats. 
and creates trans fats for that matter. The big deal here is consume more good saturated fats, consume fats that are rich in ALA, EPA or uh, EFA or DP, DHA, okay, um, basically EPA or DHA, excuse me, um, and those fats will be good for you. So where do you get them from? Well, fish is a good source if you can find healthy fish. Don't bother with farm-raised fish. They use all sorts of colorings, additives, hormones, blah, 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 and farm-raised fish. The nations are, the oceans are very polluted, um, so deep sea fish is what you really want to look for, and young deep sea fish. The younger the fish is, the better, because the older fish have longer time to absorb chemicals, toxins, poisons, etc. into their tissues, which then go on to you. Avocados are great, walnuts, almonds, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, um, macadamia nuts, anything that's a raw nut is great, as long as it's obviously for human consumption. Brazil nuts are good too. Um, this is the essence of your fat equation. If you follow these recommendations, you'll be in great shape and keep healthy for a long period of time. Your body needs fat, good fat is essential. Never forget good fat.